Man, Jesus Christ, man. Now to Hillsborough County, where a 16-year-old boy was found guilty of attempted second-degree murder. He was charged. And they're young, too, man. This is weird, man. This never happens, man. This is new, man. We've never heard of anything like this, man. Black teens killing people, man. That's new, man. We never see stuff like this, man. We never hear about this stuff in rap music. We never hear about this stuff on social media, man. What's the world coming to, man? It seems like every night, like, they're like 40 or 50 murders done by black teens and shit. And maybe, like, every week or two, there's, like, one done by a white cop. And then maybe like even every couple of months, there's one done by a white cop against a black person. Wow, man. Um, salute to Spirit Sam. He says, don't you all just want to invite these young lads into your house? <laughs> yeah, man. Give them some um, encouragement, man. Give them the talk, man. Tell them to be careful how they, when they get pulled over, make sure their hands are at 10 and 2, man, and make sure they uh, don't get a cop no slick talking. Definitely make sure they not boiling nothing, man. Yo, like, man, like, don't ever boil anything around a cop. Now to Hillsborough County, where a 16-year-old boy was found guilty of attempted second-degree murder. He was charged in a shooting last June inside a game room at a Tampa apartment complex. Two people were hurt. Another teen was also charged in the shooting. Fox 13's Kylie Jones is joining us live in Tampa with a message the state attorney's office is sending to teenagers. Kylie. Melinda, the state attorney says they're not taking it easy on any shooting suspects, even teenagers. That teen who was found guilty could now be facing decades in prison. A summer afternoon in the game. They say they're not taking it easy on teenagers. Where's this at? Tampa? I gotta hear that again, man. Go ahead, Amy Winehouse. Melinda, the state attorney, says they're not taking it easy on any shooting suspects, even teenagers. That teen who was found guilty could now be facing decades in prison. A summer afternoon in the game room at the West River Boulevard Apartments. Kids were going there to hang out and have fun. In moments, a surveillance camera captured that fun taking a turn. Two juveniles came in with firearms. State attorney Susie Lopez says now 20-year-old Jason Newson was the first one seen pulling out a gun, firing one shot. Investigators say you then see now 16-year-old DeAndre Smith in the upper right-hand screen pull out a gun and start shooting. Yo, man, what are these two got in common, man? Um, No, I got it. Single parent homes, man. That's what they got in common. I was trying to figure out what they might got in common. Single parent homes, man. There's, other than that, man, these, there's nothing else that these two guys got in common other than single parent homes, man. Oh, that's a shame, man. Two products of single parent homes, man. 20-year-old Jason Newson was the first one seen pulling out a gun, firing one shot. Investigators say you then see now 16-year-old DeAndre Smith in the upper right-hand screen pull out a gun and start shooting. Mr. Smith, in a court hearing with his attorney, said he did not know who was going to be coming through that door. He just shot. He shot seven times and hit two people. Lopez says those victims had non-life-threatening injuries. The incident is part of a continuing pattern of shootings where teenagers are on the other side of the trigger. But it's a pattern law enforcement officials are trying to break. Just because you're a teenager, just because you're young, you will not get a free pass in Hillsborough County. In this case, Lopez says both teens had prior records. If a young person goes and steals a bike or goes into a gas station a convenience store and, you know, steals a candy bar, that's okay for a diversion program. But diversion programs aren't made for these adult choices that kids are making with firearms. Instead, Smith. Ma'am, yes, they are. I've been around, man. Those diversion programs are for shooters and robbers and carjackers. They are for them. Stop lying, ma'am. Now, are you saying that not anymore in your county, in your specific county? Are you tough talking us 
Now you telling us that now in your county that you have that you're the DA that you're not gonna allow it to be used for that anymore? We'll see, man. <laughs> we'll see. Aren't made for these adults station convenience store and you know both teens had prior records if a young person goes and steals a bike or goes into a gas station convenience store and you know steals a candy bar that's okay for a diversion program but diversion programs aren't made for these adult choices that kids are making with firearms. Instead, Smith has been found guilty of attempted second degree murder. It comes on the heels of a growing gun violence unit in the 13th Judicial Circuit. Prosecuting a gun violence case is not like prosecuting a burglary of a dwelling, a burglary of a home. And so we have specialized prosecutors. Once a two person unit, it's now a team of nine. The state attorney says teens who are convicted. Wow. It used to be a two person unit now it's a nine-person unit, man. Sons cost the they cost these jurisdictions so much money, man. Those seven other people gotta be paid, man. Those seven seven other people um in that prosecutor's office gotta be paid with with, with, with money, man, tax dollars, man. Murder. It comes on the heels of a growing gun violence unit in the 13th Judicial Circuit. Prosecuting a gun violence case is not like prosecuting a burglary of a dwelling, a burglary of a home. And so we have specialized prosecutors. Once a two-person unit, it's now a team of nine. The state attorney says teens who are convicted of adult-level crimes will pay adult prices. Those are some of the toughest decisions that we make in this office, but we need to keep our community safe. Smith could face a mandatory minimum sentence of 25 years in prison. That other suspect accepted a plea deal and is also spending time behind bars. Linda. Wow, man, we got a lot of. Um, a lot of um, blacks, man. Harming people, man. God damn, you blacks, man. What's wrong with y'all, man? I'm going to get to the case of the lady boiling water, man. They got shot by the cop, man. The lady that was just trying to make some noodles and got shot by the cop for no reason at all. I'm going to get to her in a minute because there's a lot of protests happening about her, man. She was just trying to make some oodles and noodles, man. The cop busting and shot her for no reason, man. We will get to that in a minute, man. Everybody hit the like button, subscribe, support the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or the Super Chat. All the links in the description box, man. Um, salute to, um, who's the Scarlet, man? Shout out to Scarlet, man. I appreciate your content, man. Thank you, man. Shout out to Scarlet, man. A 16-year-old shot down and left for dead. It's been almost a year since Jacob Kane was killed and his killer is still out there. Fox 26's Abigail Dye joining us live with what you need to know about this case. Abigail. Well, at this point, investigators need your help. This family needs your help. Someone knows what happened to Jacob and all it takes is one call to give his family the justice that they deserve. Only 16 years old, Jacob Kane was shot down and left for dead at the dead end of Deer Timber Trail. If he carrying one of these bags, what do that mean, man? What do that mean when they carry one of these bags in the front? When they carry one of these um, man purses in the front, what do that mean, man? What is they signaling to the world, man? Shout out to Calvin Richard, man. He said, uh, there is no cure for black for this black culture. Uh you are you are correct, sir. There is no solution, man. Uh this right here, when they carrying this and they taking pictures and shit like this, there's a in, inside of here, man, is a um a hand cannon, man, a pocket rocket, man. This means I'm toting that thing thing. You don't carry this if you a black teen 
last five, 10 years, you don't wear this if you don't have a gun in it. That's the only thing this is for, for a gun. If you know, you know, man. Only 16 years old, Jacob Kane was shot down and left for dead at the dead end of Deer Timber Trails in Atascacita. September 10th, 2023, Jacob's mom couldn't find him. So she got into her car to go drive around and look for him. Wrote this neighborhood about four or five times, and I seen the caution tape, and I seen a police car right here. So you pulled up on scene. They put you in a police car. You sat there for hours, hours, hours and hours. Hours and hours. Once you found out that it was your son who had been laying over here. He was in them right through here. It's bushy now, but he was laying right through here in the woods. One shot killed my baby. <laughs> this is crazy. My God. I haven't heard from no detectives. I call. I don't get an answer. I text. I don't get an answer. Then left messages. I didn't text her. It's still. Yeah, mom. Um, and I feel bad that you haven't gotten a call back from the detectives, man. But um, ma'am. Could you imagine being a homicide detective in a, a black area, man, like yours, man? You're going to be kind of busy, man. It's like being a um, cashier at the uh, at a Walmart on a Saturday morning, man. You know, man, it, 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 being a being a um, being a cop, man. It's like being a cashier at a concession stand at a baseball game, man. It's turned up, man. So I, I feel bad that I, I know the mom, man, she showed real emotion. We saw real tears, man. Real emotion and real tears and real, um, well, I think we see, I don't know, but. But ma'am, um, they busy as hell down at the homicide division. If black, if you live around black people, if your population is fifteen percent, if your population is eight percent black in your town, them homicide detectives, man, they he they working like Hebrew slaves, man. Killed my baby. <laughs> this is crazy. My God. I haven't heard from no detectives. I call, I don't get an answer. I text, I don't get an answer. Then left messages, I didn't text her. I still haven't heard nothing. So what was the best option to do? Let's call Channel 26 and get it out here. So Tammy's talking about her nephew, William Satterfield. He was murdered three years ago and all that time. Wow, her nephew was murdered too, man. So yeah, sister, you know better than anybody, man. The homicide detectives is uh pretty busy over there, man. Um, they got their hands full, man. Just your little family done accounted for at least two, man. So far, two that we know of, man. We let you keep talking, man. The number might rise, man. Um, shout out to Kale, man. She says I'm Scarlet from Cash App. I salute to you, man. Thank you for the Cash App. Thank you for supporting the channel, Kale. The lovely Kale, man. Kale look like she, 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 are you a mulatto, man? You got them curls in your hair. Are you a mulatto? Are you a are you a um a sun glider? Uh yeah, and I was raised by a single mother. I committed no crimes. Go figure. I bet you dated some dudes that committed some crimes though. I know you dated a couple of brothers committed some crime. So what was the best option to do? Let's call Channel 26 and get it out here. So Tammy's talking about her nephew, William Satterfield. He was murdered three years ago. And all that time, his killer was on the streets until we did this story. He's nowhere to be found. I don't ever want him to see the daylight. I want him to be in jail forever and ever and ever. Just a week after the story aired, the suspect was arrested. 
I don't care what nobody tell you. Don't snitch, don't tell. If you see something and you know somebody did something that's wrong or killed or took somebody's life, speak up. Jacob came only 16 years old when he was killed. It happened on September 10th of 2023 on the dead end of Deer Timber Trails. If you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers. That no nah, that lady wasn't chirping, man. No way that lady was chirping, man. I don't want him to see the daylight. I want him to be in jail forever and ever and ever. Just oh, a week shit. No way, man. Oh, man. No way she was chirping, man. God, dog, sister. Stereotypes, man. You keep your sisters keep them stereotypes going, man. Wow. And the news messed up, man. They could have let, they could have um, edited that out. The news think they slick, man. Y'all could have picked a different clip, man. Why y'all pick that clip with her? Of her um don't y'all got ai or something can't y'all like edit out the chirp ever want him to see the daylight i want him to be in jail forever and ever and ever just a week after the story aired the suspect was arrested I don't care what nobody tell you, don't snitch, don't tell. If you see something and you know somebody did something that's wrong or killed or took somebody's life, speak up. Jacob came, only 16 years old when he was killed. It happened on September 10th of 2023 on the dead end of Deer Timber Trails. If you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers. That number is 713-222-TIPS. When you call that number, no one knows who's on the other line. You are completely anonymous. Damn. Damn. Damn, man. No, everybody who's here for us. Uh, you know what, man? Uh, everybody who's here for uh, what's your face for um 